So, hi guys and girls. Uh, I got yesterday my Kitan Demon Engine. Here you see him. I, I think you know him, he's the one with the legs. And uh, I will show you how to build it and in a future video how to paint it, which I will do with a good friend of mine. Uh, we will use some airbrush techniques and uh, normal painting techniques. I want to build like a, a smashed rhino on here on the base, uh, where the, the guitar is standing on. But I think the base is a bit too small for half a rhino to stand on it. I, I will look into it, maybe I do it, but I'm not sure. And so let's basically start with the, the kit. So we, we got the kit of the... Uh, how is it called? The Skull Guy on the wheelchair. I can't remember the name, but it's not really important. You all know what I mean. Uh, this is basically the part without a wheelchair. You even have the dozer, which isn't a part of the guitar, but you have the dozer in it because they just put the Games Workshop uh, parts on it. And then we got this nice little package from Games Workshop. This is basically the only thing that Games Workshop really produced. So, in here I just grabbed something. Uh, in here we got like these parts, they are even stuck together. And you see they have this huge resin parts on it. You need to unclip it, you need to clean it up. And after all of that, you need to clean it up in water, in hot water with some... Uh, with some stuff to really clean it to get the, the crease of it so this will be uh, a lot of work but it's kind of fun to build something so you just need to be careful like I just saw on this part uh, they are the same thickness you see that they are really the same thickness and we really need to clean that up properly so this is a bit of a fort, but it is worth it in the end. Uh, otherwise, I I see that the uh, racing of the uh, forge world is quite good. You know, it has a lot of these details. It's it's has no pockets or something, so it's really good quality. Okay, then let's do some. So next, uh, I got the stuff I will use. Uh, a scalpel just for uh, the finer parts remove a uh, normal cheap knife it's reliable it's just there for the thick parts then I got my uh, little zipper it's mostly for the plastic parts really working and I already put up some glue for the racing because the racing uh, needs some normal uh, glue that can through everything uh, and not just uh, plastic glue that I would use for these parts. Okay, so we got uh, the upper body built up. The, we got here the, the Gatling gun arm already uh, uh, out of the spurs, cleaned up with the knives, this one especially, and glued together. Uh, then the other body, like I said, with the exhausts and everything, so he's completely like done. Mm -hmm. Then I got the head here, a bit harder to see. Uh, for painting purposes, I don't fix it up now, but you can just stick it in. So until now, it's just like this, uh, same as the arm, the shoulder pads. Here the, the big, I say big, big axe we were wielding. It's everything separated for the painting purpose. Same with the armor blades, they will get fixed here. Let's see, like this. But for now, there's the upper body. And we continue in a second with the lower body. This will be more. Uh, challenging because this is everything resin. Uh, this was just plastic like the 
wheelchair guy on top. Mm, I'm really uh, looking forward to the lower body. So I will uh, uh, clean it and everything, then we will see. So and now we are to the to these parts, the resin parts from Forge World. And uh, I removed all the the parts uh, that are not to be there, then I cleaned it in hot water with soap and let it dry over the night. So I, I tried to clean it up as good as possible, otherwise the color and the foundation doesn't uh, keep sticking on it and it looks really oily, so we don't want that. So now I'm assembling them, uh, trying to get uh, this one. And if everything works out fine, uh, the, the legs will be done soon. I will show you how the legs look. And yeah, it's quite a, quite a work, but I hope it's worth it. So let's see how it goes on and how it works out. So uh, we are done with the, the legs right now. Uh, the armor parts are not glued and I will uh, airbrush it before I glue the armor parts and airbrush the armor parts themselves and paint them before gluing it together. Uh, same with the arms, the shoulder pads, the head and so on. So basically this is how you build it. Uh, the hardest part is really the legs. Uh, you just need to to assemble it right, you need to fix it and stabilize it, it takes time to glue, it's not completely glued, that's why I'm not I'm handling it around. It's also not glued on the base, I used uh, Tipex uh, to fix it, but he will stand like this, uh, you can easily put this on, oh you don't see it that well, but you can put it on, and if everything is alright, then he gets glued together and then he's good to go. So guys, uh, it was nice to show you this uh, little clip of mine. Then we'll follow in the uh, how to paint him. Like I said, with some uh, friend of mine that's airbrushing it a bit and then we're painting it. I show you step for step and in the end it, you will see the result. I hope you'll click and subscribe to me. So have a nice day and keep on walking.